welcome back. I hope you are coming straight from the video that I uploaded earlier today. That one was all about updating the software for the new machines. This one is updating the firmware to run the new machines. This video is specifically for the Curio 2. However, if you follow these steps, it will work for updating the firmware on all of the new machines. If you did not catch that last video, go watch that one and come straight back for this. In order to update the firmware on the Curio 2, you're going to have to use the USB cable with this version of the software that's out now. So they did not provide a USB cable for the Curio 2 in the box. However, you can use the USB cable that you use with your Cameo. They are interchangeable. So I am going to go ahead and borrow the USB cable from my Cameo to update the firmware on the Curio 2. I did get a little bit of video footage. It is a bit rocky, but I wanted to show you exactly where it goes and then we will go from there. That is the Curio 2. Then you have the control panel over on the right hand side. And then below the control panel, you will find power adapter. Next to that is your USB, then the power button. So we're going to take the USB cord and we're going to plug it right in here. You do have to have it in the right way. Okay, so now when I am in the page setup panel, when I go to choose my machine, all of the new machines are listed here. And I am going to go ahead and choose Curio 2 and see what happens. Okay. In, I went to the Sun panel, it is still awaiting connection. When you go down to this little icon at the bottom of the Sun screen, you can see the little silhouette machine symbol and it has the number four here, which means it is detecting four different machines. I just need to select Curio 2, which does say available by USB and click on that. As soon as I clicked on that, it is detecting the tool and all of that other good stuff. So it is connected. You can see that there is a firmware update available and you are going to need internet for the firmware update. And the speed of the firmware update is going to be dependent on the speed of your internet. So we're going to go ahead and click on update now. and it says do not switch off Curio 2. So we're just going to leave that alone until it does its thing. It should only take a minute or two. I wish I would have timed this to let you know um, exactly how long it took me. It is taking a little bit longer than I had expected, but I also have, um, like I said, I've got a house full of boys this morning. I believe there are two Nintendo Switches running an Xbox and the television downstairs along with my computer and the curio so okay the firmware has finished now the curio 2 is restarting itself And it has taken the arm back to the home position. So everything should be set up at this point. 
we have updated the software, we have updated the firmware, and eventually we're going to be able to connect it through the Bluetooth to our computer. In the next video, we will go through and test out the electrostatic mat with a few different materials. I don't know exactly what it will hold in place, but we are going to try um, some copy paper. We're going to try some cardstock. We're going to try some vinyl, and we are going to try the um, some leatherette. I don't expect the leatherette to hold, but I want to see if it will or if it won't. Don't be afraid to play with it. We don't want to be rough. We don't want to damage anything. But at the same time, if we don't play around, we're not going to learn how to use it. And then it will just stay a 400 and some odd dollar paperweight. We do not want that. We want to be able to make all of the things with it. I'm going to end this video now and get to setting up the next video where we're going to look at different materials and do the first cut. I'll see you there.